going on, everybody? I am your host for the day, Leslie, pulling up close to the TV. We are going to have a ball. Welcome to the 411 Knowledge and Entertainment Show. Now, I'm going to hook you up and introduce you to the hottest woman in basketball, my girl, Teresa Edwards. There is no question that she is the greatest player of all time in women's professional basketball. <laughs> called Love and Basketball, and on the commercials we see a 10-year-old girl, first thing out her mouth in her sassy little way is, I want to be the first woman in the NBA. Right. At 10 years old, did you have any idea that you wanted to play ball? I am so different. Only difference, I had the same desire that that kid has. The only difference in me is I wanted to be the first one to play with women professionally. Ah. I had goals for women to right. be the first this, or we could be powerful, we could have our own professional leagues. Do you consider yourself a role model for young girls? I don't have a choice in that either, I, and I accept it as long as all my little fans in, in America realize that athletes are, are just as human as they are. And another thing I, I like to say when I'm answering a question about role models is don't put your child in the care of the best athlete because it doesn't mean that that athlete is the best person. Um, don't, don't let me allow me to do your job. Uh, I think the person that your child sees every day is the one that when they wake up, the one that feeds them, the one that clothes them, and the one that keeps shelter over their head. So don't pass on your responsibility to the great athletes. But as far as Teresa Edwards is concerned, I'll spend my life being the best me that I can do. I think that, see, there's a fine line between artistic expression and artistic freedom and, um, and instilling messages in people. I think that entertainers have an obligation to uh, relay messages. Whether or not it always has to be in the music, I'm not sure because I think that it is entertainment. However, when you do interviews, when you go around the country, you should talk to kids, you should talk to young people, and you should do everything that's within your grasp to um, um, push a positive message out there for the kids. Now, we mentioned this just a little bit before, that you go around and you speak to girls, and maybe even some guys, to schools right. about drugs, age, sex, teen pregnancy. Why is that an important thing for you to do? Giving back is more is definitely important. Being able to get out and, and be in touch, allowing yourself to be touched by kids and to be close and on hand, I think that's important. Um, at the same time, t touching on subjects that you're that other people may be afraid to, or maybe sometimes the kids are afraid to. But you never know what a kid is going to ask you. So you, to me, you have to be prepared. Right. Um, and I never feel like I have the correct answer, the perfect answer. I just feel like I can give some good advice on just being the best kid that you can be. Now, inquiring minds want to know, as decorated as you are, as much as you've done to form the ABL, as many times as you've been to the Olympics, here comes this opportunity for you to play in the WNBA, and you have said no. Mm. Why? Mainly because the changeover was very mm, sticky. Um, no longer do you have the balance being to go to the left or right with the ABL to negotiate contracts. Mm. Uh, now comes, uh, you know, you don't really have many negotiating options over there. Um, so given that, given my age, given the, the professional experience I truly have, it was almost insulting that I couldn't negotiate at that time. And not to make the WNBA look bad, because I want women's professional basketball to be here, right. but I don't want the growth no one to be afraid of the growth. And that's just part of the growth. Teresa Edwards, everybody. That was our edition of 411 Knowledge and Entertainment. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you log on www.teresaedwards.com. Check her out in Sydney at the Australian Olympics as she brings home the gold. Yes. yes. Bye, you guys. <laughs> Swagger like us, swagger like us, swagger like us, swagger like us, no one on the